Hey guys, James Reeves with TFB TV. Thank God, this is like the first show that I've done post pandemic. Yeah. I, we are relaunching TFB TV Showtime with content from Red October. I know, thank God. And thank God you guys invited me, even though I've been saying it in all the videos today. Um, I am staying at a truck stop that Nick personally booked for me that's across the street. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. That's where I went on my honeymoon, so I figured. Sure, it's good enough. Yeah, 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 it's good enough for you. Yeah, yeah, it's good enough for me. Got hit on by a lot lizard this morning. Not even kidding. We are here <laughs> at Red October. This is a Rifle Dynamics event, yes. right? So tell us about what is Red October. Red October is a, a, a joint event. We have KCI, uh, we have KUSA co-sponsoring this huge event. We're having, there's over 300 shooters out here. We've got vendors like Dead Air, Blue Force Gear, uh, M13, local AK builder, Occam Defense is out here as well. Uh, just a huge event trying to get everybody spread the word about Kalishnikov and you have guys coming out here, you've seen, uh, coming out here fully decked out. In pajamas, yeah, yeah, everybody, there there camo, pajamas. camo pajamas, yeah. Uh, just out here kind of just enjoying what is the AK, the whole platform about it. And it's, it's just to bring the awareness and just the love of the platform that people have, because it's a huge community. You know, a lot of people are AR people, all that stuff, and you don't really get that with the AK, but you do it right off. It, it's so funny because we were talking about, Ryan and I were talking about it at, at lunch. We were like, man, this is such a different vibe. Like, you know, I dunk on AK people all the time, you know, for shooting this outdated, terrible platform. Um, I know, I know, I know. We're going to have to bleep that one out. No, seriously, like, this has been, everybody's super friendly. Yep. This is way more casual in terms of like, you know, everybody's like, hey man, no, come shoot this gun, you know, come on, like, yeah. check this out. Um, and there's a bunch of neat stuff here. I mean, it really is like peak Soviet LARPing. And there are like fantastic builds. There's uh, even neat stuff like that RPG trainer. Yeah, if you got that. yeah it was yeah. crazy. So, I mean, you guys actually have done a really great job and you're doing a, a show, right? So yes. you got like everybody you just mentioned, they're kind of showing some new products yep. and we looked at those already. But you're doing a match too. Yes. Yeah, we got the match going on. Uh, uh, Brian Nelson uh, pretty much wrote the match and is now the the range master out here. Uh, he's running. He runs a really good course. Uh, it, from what I've heard, it's a pretty tough course, you know. And you've got guys now, you know, full head to toe gear, rolling around the dirt, pulling stuff, carrying stuff. So it's a really, it's a cool experience for the shooters. Uh, and it's it's nice to have the positive feedback. Guys coming back down just ran. We're like, man, that was great. This is so awesome. And they come down spin our wheel, have fun, shoot some more machine guns. It's just, a, it's a good time. How many years have you guys been doing this? Oh, uh, we've been running it since 2016. Uh, 2019 was the last one since this one because COVID, we right. didn't get to do this. And we canceled, shoot, it was like a month or so before, just because everything, the governor out here was just kind of like really shutting everything down. Uh, so this year we were like, hey, it's got to go. We've got to make it as big as possible. And that's where we linked up with Battlefield Vegas. They brought the tank out, yeah, which was, was yeah, the tank is super rad. Uh, and yeah, it's just a really cool experience. But yeah, this is yeah, you guys 2021. Had a, you had a great turnout. Yes. So, and I, I imagine it's just going to get bigger every year. What if yes. I am just Joe Schmo and I just want to come hang out? Uh, yeah, for spectators, you come out. Uh, we do either do pre-sale or you can buy tickets at the door. You come out. Uh, there's plenty of guys giving. We're giving stuff away. All the companies pretty yeah. much getting stuff away. You get demos. You get to interact with people. Just have a good time out here. It's a. It's, cool. it's like a mini AK shot show is basically it's what bit, it yeah, is. Sure. But but anyone can just show up. Yes. And that's really cool. Yeah. Speaking of cool, I love y'all stuff, Rifle Dynamics. So let's head back to the booth and check out the new shit that you guys are talking about here. Cool. at the show. Nick, what AKs do we have from Rifle Dynamics? So these are going to be two. This one is our 703. Uh, it was a one of 10 that we did for Red October. That's actually going to be one of the prize guns, but it is our standard 703. Uh, so it is a 14 and a half inch uh, pin welded. It does feature our tunable gas block. That's kind of one of our 
I mean, it's one of our flagship products, to be honest with you. It's, it allows you to really fine tune the rifle, which you really haven't been able to do on the AK. And that's what kind of one of the nice things that makes our guns really nice shooters. Uh, standard Warsaw stock, uh, Tango down grip and everything else, kind of standard AK. Obviously, it goes through our, the, the fine tuning and the, the, the fitment of everything. Sure. That we do now, shop. other than the Red October edition, of which you're only doing 10, what are you doing with the other 10, by the way? If somebody wants to buy one, is oh, it possible? Oh, we sold those ones out. Okay, so they're already gone. They're already gone. Let's say I wanted to get this version of your rifle or something similar to it. Um, is it possible? I mean, Dead Air was here. Could I get it like pinned and welded with like a chemo or something like that? Oh, yeah, there we go. Absolutely. Yeah, that's something that we do. Uh, on our custom shop guns, like that is just our standard RD flash hider, um, our earlier version of it. Um, but we do, we have a couple different options for muzzle devices. Again, something that, you know, the modernization that we're bringing to the AK platform is the addition of suppressor mounting devices or different flash hiders, different uh, muzzle brakes that you like. Are we looking at the same rifle here? Almost? We are I not, mean... almost. So this one is a 12 and a half inch uh, model that we built with our Picatinny rear trunnion. Uh, something that I think we're going to move a lot more towards because it gives you options to be able to put on side folders, uh, to put on different attachments. You know, if you like the SIG, uh, SIG stocks or a couple of other ones, really That's nice. That's brilliant, actually. Yeah, yeah I like it, that. It kind of just opens up uh, the back end. And this one on here has one of the Midwest Industries, one of their uh, new tubes with their buttstock on there. Um, but yeah, we got the Midwest handguard here. Um, so our 12 and a halfs, we're looking at kind of bringing these to the production lineup. And this is gonna be your standard 12 and a half inch with the uh, rifle length uh, gas tube. The Cerakote job, who did it? Uh, this was gonna be Titus. Okay. Titus did this one up. Is, it, match that is it possible to, like, let's say I wanted to get this exact setup from Rifle Dynamics. Is it possible, like with the Cerakote and everything? It's, or, or at that point, I'm gonna have to go and farm stuff out? It's it's possible. It might be something, Colin, uh, just because stuff like this does take a long time and kind of slows down our production process, but it's not something that we're not completely against. So we are we do a handful of kind of one-off stuff like this. Uh, you just have to call and talk to Casey, convince Titus, maybe buy him a beer or something. Uh, actually, he doesn't right. drink, but right. yeah, you have to convince him to throw something on there. We actually just... Uh, we just did a build class not too long ago, and the gun is gold. Mm -hmm. It has SLR handguard black, black accents. And actually, it's, it looks, it's, it's pretty classy. Pretty classy. <laughs> um, so these are special edition yes, rifles. Special edition but rifles. if I want like the closest thing, like if I'm, I'm watching and I, I just heard all the specs for these yeah. guns, and I want the closest possible thing, how do I get it? So this one, just jump on the website, rifledynamics.com. Uh, go to the 703. Uh, that's what this one's going to be. And again, you can choose paint color, muzzle device. Uh, you can add an SLR handguard if you want to, Krebs safety, uh, Magpul grip if you don't like the Tango down. That's personal preference. Uh, and then two, you can choose accent colors, obviously. The red is an accent color, but sure. you can do black accents, that kind of stuff. What, what does the 703 start at if I just get a base model? Uh, they start at about twenty six hundred bucks. Okay, twenty six hundred dollar AKs, and I'm staying at a gosh darn truck stop. What about um, this one? <laughs> uh, this one is actually kind of a prototype that we built out, so we should be seeing these hitting uh, hitting our production lineup pretty shortly. We just got in our newest revision of our rear trunnions, and then once we start kind of getting those built out, you should be able to start seeing some twelve fives from us uh, with, in different variations. Okay, does this one have a model number? Did you say it and I just, it's just totally missed we're it? We're kind of dabbling around with model numbers. Right now it's kind of dancing around with the 700 mid is what we're going to call it because all mm -hmm. of our rifles, the 7.62 guns are all 700 series. Mm -hmm. So 702, 703, 704. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be, we're, the name right now we're kind of selling on a 700 mid. Okay, and so this is a brand new, I mean, not even out yet. Not even this, out yet. Okay, no. yeah. Yeah, but we're looking at what? Probably the same, like 2,600, uh, maybe probably, towards three? It really depends on what mm -hmm. we end up doing with the front end, because obviously the handguards are going to add a bunch of cost. Um, and then two, what we decide on doing with the back end. Uh, we've been working a lot with Midwest uh, doing their, uh, the pistol, or just their buffer tubes, throw on SBA3 or throw on B5 CTR, whatever you want. So whether you want a 14.5, 12 and a half or 11 and a half inch with the pick rear, you kind of get to choose the back end. So it really just kind of depends on what you throw onto it. Okay, awesome. Well, is it cool if I shoot these things? I mean, is that, well, not this one, not right? That one, not that one. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's, that's going <laughs> to the winner. I can try this one. Huh? Yeah, this one definitely shoot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it should be suppressed tune. It should be a really nice shooting smooth rifle. Okay. Uh, Nick, thanks a ton of for course. answering all of our questions and Absolutely. for letting us do this. Thanks for having us at Red of course, October. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Uh, dude, Absolutely. no, no, no. Pleasure's all on this side of the table, buddy. Oh, all on this side of the truck stop. Guys, we will bring you more from Red October and Rifle Dynamics.